Hey everybody, this is a walk around video of the 2021 Orion RXB 250L. Uh, we also have an X version. Uh, this is the one with the lights, so the only difference is we take the lights off for the X version. Uh, we want to do a quick walk around and show some details of this bike and uh, make some sense of it from just still pictures. First thing we'll start with is on the front and we'll work our way back. Uh, this bike has new upgraded aluminum rims on it, uh, 7160 aluminum to be exact. We do have the heavy duty spokes, uh, also has rim locks front and back. Uh, rims are a lot stronger. Uh, we wanted to make sure that if you're out in the woods pounding this thing, that the wheels were gonna be there for you. Uh, we also added a, a new front brake disc guard, you can see down here, uh, protect the entire uh, braking system from mud and, and uh, dirt and everything you're gonna get into. Uh, we also uh, have new triple clamps for this year. Uh, these are CNC triple clamps made uh, out of billet aluminum. Uh, same thing with the handlebar clamps. Uh, you got your KKE forks also. These are adjustable uh, front or, or top and bottom, so compression and rebound. Uh, you have an adjuster and a bleeder screw as well. Uh, we also have uh, different controls for this year. You can see we have uh, foldable levers. These go up and down and forward and back, uh, which is kind of nice. A little bit softer grip this year. Uh, a lot of people change these out, but we urge you to try these. These are, these are pretty good compound grips. The uh, other things we changed are the headlight and some of the blinkers. I'll turn this this way and you can kind of see, um, turn the key on here and you can kind of see the lights. Uh, so this uh, does have a, a running light feature. So that'd be off. There's your running light feature. There's your light. And then uh, it's got a, a flash to pass as well, just like any typical street bike. Uh, I also have the bright light on it. Uh, then the, uh, the new LED blinkers we also use for this year, uh, which is really kind of cool if you are going to get on road with this uh, and want to be seen, good way to do that. The uh, gas tank has also been improved for this year. We enlarged the gas tank. Uh, this is a uh, almost a three gallon tank now, uh, almost double the size from last year. So it expands the range on the bike. Uh, if you are on road or in the woods or wherever, don't necessarily have to worry about running out of gas uh, as quickly. Um, the uh, shift lever has also been upgraded as well. You can see the knurled tip on the end of that, foldable. Uh, it's also in the right position. We had a little bit of an issue with our last year's shifters that are a little hard to reach, so we improved upon that. Uh, new foot pegs as well. Uh, we also even added rear sets uh, on these. If you do have a passenger, they've got a place to put their feet. Uh, new improved seat, uh, gripper seat cover, a lot softer. Uh, that was the biggest complaint of last year's model was the seat. So when we redesigned the entire bike, we made sure to address the seat, put more foam in it, put a little bit more comfortable uh, grip or cover on it, uh, which is really nice. Uh, everybody wanted some place to carry uh, bags or, or some type of storage. Uh, so we went ahead and added the rear rack on the model. This is removable, uh, just three bolts and this comes right off and you don't, you don't really have to have it. I uh, also added the aluminum swing arm. Uh, this was an upgraded feature last year that you could upgrade to. It is now standard on the 2021 model. A uh, really nice swing arm, lightens the bike up really well. Uh, so uh, so makes it easier to handle. The rear shock we use is uh, called the MMT, which is also the same company as SCZ. Same exact manufacturer, they just have two different divisions. Uh, we've uh, had pretty good luck with this shock. Uh, this uh, shock is part of our suspension package. You can also upgrade through uh, Hinter Motorsports where you can actually adjust the suspension, have it set uh, to your weight and how you're gonna ride. Uh, we make that available online whenever you purchase. You can also see the uh, aluminum rim on the uh, rear as well with rim lock. Uh, brakes have also been upgraded. Uh, these are a little bit higher quality brake, a little bit bigger brake for front and rear. So bike stops on a dime, uh, really nice. Uh, still have the uh, the plastic covers you can see for the cover the brake uh, and part of the frame to help uh, protect your frame from your boot uh, on both sides. Performance uh, exhaust, stainless exhaust. Uh, there's no baffle in these. This is a straight flow exhaust. Helps on the uh, the power. Uh, also have a nibby carburetor, 30 millimeter nibby. Uh, you got your idle adjustment there. Uh, air fuel mixture chokes on the other side. Uh, we have really enjoyed the Nibby carburetors. They are, are, have really taken over as kind of the, the performance carb to have on these type of bikes. Another feature of the uh, new 250 is the engine. Uh, we still use the 249cc engine, but this is the six-speed counterbalance version, which is very important to point out. 
Uh, the six speed is obviously nice to have the extra gear, especially if you're on the highway. Uh, but the counterbalance uh, just makes the bike so smooth. Uh, there's way less vibration in a counterbalance engine, uh, which also means for longer longevity and uh, life of the engine as well with less vibration and less heat. So the counterbalance engine uh, really is a nice addition uh, this year and uh, we really have enjoyed it. We're really excited about the frame. The frames are completely different. Uh, we used to use a mild steel called a Q195. We now have switched to a Q345, which is an automotive grade steel, uh, a lot stronger. Uh, it's a lot lighter. Uh, you can notice the welds are a lot more consistent because these are actually made by machines now. And uh, just a, a really nice frame, a really nice powder coat finish. So uh, it's going to be a lot, a lot stronger, a lot less rigid. On the controls on this side, we have your quarter turn throttle which is nice, you only have to turn it a quarter of the way to get a full throttle uh, versus a typical uh, a, a throttle handle. So pretty nice, it's an all aluminum finish on this, so really good quality. Uh, you can see the bars are a little bit nicer. Uh, these are aluminum bars, 77.5 aluminum. Uh, so really nice bars. Uh, you really don't even have to replace these like you used to do on the typical uh, Chinese import bikes. Uh, these bars out of, the, out of the crate are really, really nice. and do not vibrate a whole lot. Uh, show you the gauges one more time. You can see up here, so you have your speedometer, uh, you have your RPM gauge, uh, it also has a, a odometer on it as well. Uh, shows you your gear indicator uh, on the gauges. Uh, so we've also upgraded these for this year. Uh, full digital, a little bit smaller, a lot higher quality, uh, as you can see that. Okay, anything you have missed in the video that we didn't cover, uh, shoot us a message or hit us on live chat if you have any questions and uh, we'll be happy to help you with that. Um, that should be it. Thank you.